What is up, my friends? It's your vintage star friend, VTG. I know it's been a very long time since I reviewed a toy or something, but I'll be honest, I kind of uh, grew in a phase where I didn't do them for a while, but hey, I'm back. And um, <laughs> I have to say, um, this one, I think, was pretty much expected to be done at some point. Plus, it was really in need, of, in need of a revision, so, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I didn't really specify how many puppets I had or showed every single one of them in the last one, so, I mean, that's why this is a redo. Anyway, to start off, I'm going to be um, showing off my um, DMP Creative. If you don't know who that is, that is Dave Privet, or Privet. I'll link down his uh, Etsy shop down below if you want to go by it go by there he, he doesn't really have anything uh, available at the moment since he's a little busy but yeah also before i do that i'm gonna put two pictures up of uh two puppets that are not gonna be shown on video but they're pictures instead one of them is bard and the dave privet rooster anyway let's just get started First off, the DMP Creative Puppets. Now, um, as you can tell, this one is obviously a BE character somewhat, but it's actually a custom character. This one is a splatter duck, which I actually named Picasso. It has a strange origin, actually. Um, it was based off a name from a Baby Einstein wiki that was um, on not too long ago. Actually, long ago, my bad. <laughs> I don't really, really remember how long ago it was, since the name was actually from a wiki, but... I just uh, basically turned a one fake name into an actual character. It's basically a, the Vivaldi body, except uh, the colors are different. And of course, um, the paint splatters, duh. <laughs> anyway, moving on. This little guy you've seen before. If you've seen the... Holiday special in the 1984 video, you've seen this guy. But who is he exactly? Well, this is a fuzzy friend, which was from uh, the shop that I was talking about earlier. Part of the mess. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have a mouth, but you can just move him with, finger, with your fingers. He has a little movable arms and a movable head. Watch this. <laughs> Yeah, this little guy has a good future ahead of him. Now this one is the most recent DMP Creative puppet I've gotten. It was actually a graduation gift from my mother, which uh, yes, I decided to graduate recently. And it's another fuzzy friend, except it's pink. It's the only thing left on the shop at the moment, so that's what my mom got. The mouth feels a little weird, but <laughs> I don't really mind at all. It just feels like, like um, a leather chair, I'll be honest. And of course, uh, there's a bunch of fur. <laughs> it feels really weird. But there's also like a little squishy tongue here. Look at, hang on, I'm, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, ah, uh, oh well. Also, if you take a look into the eyeballs, I think this is like wood, maybe. And of course, there's like little custom eyelids or pupils. I don't know what this blue thing is for. Maybe it's for uh, the eyes to stand on, maybe? I don't know. And now here is the moment everybody has been waiting for, for I don't know how long. So, <laughs> anyway, here is the Baby Einstein and Legends and Lore puppet collection. Of course, uh, you may see other puppets, but they're not really Baby Einstein puppets. These are like puppets I've created myself, so those will be excluded. I'll probably uh, show them another time. All right, and of course, um, let's start off with this one since he's uh, literally just right there. If you're on my channel recently, then you probably would recognize this guy. It is the giraffe. He was in the 1984 video, which I've done for a school project. He was the uh, spokesperson for that um, video that was on the uh, Strange DVD. This one is uh, in just pretty much good condition. Hello! Of course, there's like a tiny chair here. It's not bad. 
I've had this guy for a long time now. He's still holding up, which is actually kind of impressive. Next up, we have Jane the Monkey. And this one is... Oh, I forgot. There's also a tag in here still. Don't know if you can see it. It's difficult to do this with one hand. Anyway, this one is also in good condition too. This one I had for a long time too, and this one does not have any tears either. Kind of impressive. Well, my iron tears, really. <laughs> Next is the Moo Moo Cow. <coughs> this one isn't really having much luck. It's starting to wear down after so many years of being with me. As you can tell, there's like some tears here on the mouth. I think, yep, there's, there's, the horns are splitting. The body itself is okay so far. It's just only the horns in the mouth that are having some minor casualties. However, it's not as bad as this. This Pavlov right here, with the tag too. This one I've bought in 2018 off of eBay. And the mouth, the sides near the mouth, it's really, really torn up. Yeah. Heck. All right. Sorry, there's something on it. <laughs> also, there's like a little tiny chair right here, too. Yeah, so after uh, three years, two, maybe, it's not really doing so great. The rest of it is fine, but it's really tearing down now. Next one, Allie the Alligator. And as you can tell, there's the tag right there. Yeah, this one, surprisingly, is in good condition, too. Like, very good condition. Had this guy for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a little color fading because of, because of his age. But overall, still con good condition. This next one won't really count anyway as a Legends and Lore puppet, but whatever. Red Box. <laughs> it's a Red Box puppet. This one you might know well. It's the tan or not orange nose. Red nose reindeer. And of course, unsurprisingly, good condition. It's also pretty well made too. Shout out to Baby Onside Red Box Productions. Of course, uh <laughs> You guys remember this little guy's debut in the holiday special. <laughs> and of course, the scene that comes up to mind is the reindeer dancing to the music. This next one here is basically just a towel puppet. The horse. Not really special, but whatever. No tag in this at all. It's in good condition too, there's no stains or anything, so whatever, move along. This next one is Bubbles the Elephant. I actually got this uh, little guy for, for my seventh birthday. The only thing that's bad about it right now is the trunk. Other than that, everything's A-OK. -okay. Hey, a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the damage right here. Yeah, I don't really know how that how it happened, so yeah. Overall, good condition. And he, this next one is basically the myth, the legend, Sonny Bunny! The little guy is holding strong, except for his mouth. Yeah, it's a, it's gotten a little worse over the years. Yeah, I've had this guy for a long time. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Overall, good condition. Of course, uh, ignore the bent ears. Sometimes uh, the puppets get squished in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> this next one is basically um, kind of one of my favorites. It's the reindeer. Ironically, I got this on Christmas. Can you guess why? Anyway, the condition of this is, well, it's starting to really tear up a little bit. The mouth uh, had a glue a little bit together, but if you see it from like a distance maybe, 
like uh, in the recording or something, then you can't really tell the mouth is damaged, but yeah, it started tearing down there. Also, on the bottom, there's a little scruffs right here, but overall, good condition. I love this little guy. Next to the next next, Barbara the Lamb and her face did not get in the frame. This one had a, had a, for a good amount of time, and it's actually starting to wear a little bit too. Only on this side here. That's the only uh, tearing spot. Overall, still doing pretty good. And this next one is, it's the little piggy, oing, 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 oing. Yeah, so as I was saying, this is the pig, which I've had for a long time also. It's in good condition, except for, well, the ears. This one and this one, they uh, split it. Yeah, I also decided to try to glue them back together. Not the smartest idea, because, well, the sides started splitting after I tried to glue them back together. So, yeah, that was not a good idea on my part. Oops. This next one is the latest Legends and Lore puppet I've got. Sandy Seahorse. Also known as one of the last selling puppets on Legends and Lore at the moment, along with Ali Alligator. Rip Legends and Lore. You will be missed. Now, since this was just bought, I think the condition is pretty obvious. Pretty good. There's not much to say, except it's pretty cool. It's like a little, uh, little tail thing that he could put in here. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I have to say about it. Before I introduce this next one, here's a question I want to ask. Four seasons, anybody? It is the Zebra Monet. And uh, this is actually kind of tearing off too a little bit. The only The only problem is the mouth. Yeah. The rest of it is doing okay. Yeah, most of these are really wearing down due to old age. So, yeah. Next one is another rare puppet, which is... Zipipagao. Also known as... Tuta. And of course... Well... <laughs> Well, here's the here's the thing I want to here's the thing I want to say real quick. Normally, it does this weird thing. It, the head just sinks in a little bit. Don't know why. It's been doing that for a long time now. But yeah. However, the casualties are on the horns. I basically uh, glued them back together too. Up, oh, up oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. So the poor guy is wearing out due to old age. Oh no. There's a, I think it was, no, 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 it was this side. The stitching was coming loose. Yeah, so he's really wearing down. This next one is the octopus bath puppet. Really, there's no damage here, except for the top here. I don't know what, what's going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's just as you expect, you just, you just do this. Alright, this next one is also pretty rare, but this one is in super bad condition. And it's Rory the Lion. Yeah, the tag is still in here, actually, right here. As you can tell, the puppet's literally peeling. And of course, uh, it might just disintegrate pretty soon. I don't know. I mean, just look at the condition of this thing. The mane really isn't a problem, but the body and the face are. Which is actually kind of sad. Yeah. This next one is kind of tearing down now, too. This one I had for a while. And, uh... Just like Pavlov, the the face area near their mouth is kind of tearing down. Yeah, which is a shame. Overall, not bad condition either, so... <laughs> yep. 
On the other hand, her brother is doing pretty fine, actually. Except for this random string. <laughs> yep. This is basically pretty good condition. Of course, uh, tag. Oh yeah, I think I forgot to show the tag in this one, too. Oh wait, actually, no, there's no tag in it at all. Hmm, huh. weird. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one is a surviving. That's all I have to say about it. Here is the, uh, here's another one. It is Max Lamb. I think my dad bought this off the LNL website when I was younger. It's pretty good condition. And uh, the only minor thing that has about it is this tear here right at the bottom here. Okay, here. Yeah, see? Yeah it's, yeah, it's the stitching. It's been like that for a few years, but there's no tearing at it at all, which is pretty good. This next one is from a Jurassic time, I have to say. Here is Terry the Pterodactyl, and let me put this on my hand real quick. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there's, there's some big wings on this thing. There's no tag on this either. And sur surprisingly, this is in good condition too. This guy's like a long schnauzer. <laughs> and here's our next dinosaur friend. Which some of you may know as Swaggy. As some people call him. This guy is in pretty good condition. There's like a random thing on one of the scales somewhere. I don't know if it's on the other side or not, but... I don't know, maybe it's gone. <laughs> this guy's in good condition, too. And there's like a random bend on the scale for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically in good condition. And here's our last dinosaur friend here. Yuri the Eurosaurus. I'm not sure where my dad got this one, actually, so... <laughs> Who knows? Of course, there's a scrubbed up club tag here. This one is fading because of age, too. And of course, just like some of the others, really good condition. Also, is this supposed to be like, this is like a tooth or something? I'm not really sure. This next one is basically pretty bad, too, but not as bad as Rory, but... Well, kind of bad, but yeah. This is a scrub -a dub Bard, which I've owned for a while. And there's a tag in there, if you can see it. Yeah, this guy faded because of age, obviously. Of course, the mouth here. This has a big gaping hole in here. And the tongue is pretty chewed up, too. Like, very, very chewed up. Not the greatest luck for this guy. Which is, which is a shame, because I actually like this puppet, too. Which is why I got the pre-Disney one. It's kind of a close second. This next one is pretty rare now, too, but not bad condition, also. It is the Sofen Sea Teutel. It's a pretty good condition. There's only, like, a little chip in the eye, but... Yeah, it's nothing to worry about, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. Also, let me tell you a story quick about this puppet. Um, When I was younger, my dad got me this puppet, and he came back from a trip one day, and he had this in his hand, and he put sunglasses on the puppet, <laughs> with, just walking in with it. <laughs> and that's basically the introduction of how I got it. So, yeah, fun little memory there. In fact, uh, most of the puppets that I've gotten sometimes were from him coming back from trips. So, yeah, here, there's a little fun story for you. This next one is in pretty, really good condition. And it's actually the Isaac rendition of the Rory Lion. So we could just call it Baby Newton or Isaac. Don't care uh, what you call it, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the main is... Uh, still intact with its colors 
body is uh, pretty much in good condition too. So basically no minor flaws, which is really colorful. Also this one, I'm gonna be doing a double take. So and by double take, I mean like double puppets. All right, first off, I'm gonna review this one. This is the Japanese Tarakatomi or Tomi Vincent van Gogh puppet. This one is in pretty good condition. I've actually gotten it like um, a, few year, a few years ago. It's kind of comfortable to work with. Well, maybe except the mouth, it kind of feels weird. <laughs> it, feels, it feels like a pillowcase, if all honest, in all honest, on it. <laughs> anyway, here's this guy, the duck. And unfortunately, um, his bottom side is not really doing so good. His mouth has seen better days, too. His uh, little hair on the top is kind of uh, chipped a little bit. Of course, there's a scrubbed up club tag here, too. Overall, it's okay. Just okay. Yeah, the poor guy is just rotting. I haven't really used haven't really used him much since uh, he's uh, fading away a little bit. So yeah. All right, this one I'm doing another double take, which is basically a Legends and More and a Disney puppet. So here's the Kangaroo and Buzz the Bee. Both are in pretty good condition. This one I think maybe is fading. Maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> it's, st it's still pretty good. Alright. And now Buzz the Bee. This one is basically the same condition. The yellow is kind of fading away a little bit because of age. <laughs> yeah, this is basically the closest I'll get to, like, a Benny Butterfly. But hey, I'm happy with it, so, whatever. Now, this next one is, uh, actually up on the, on the shelf, so, uh, hang on. <coughs> Let me transport you. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. This is the dolphin. At the moment, uh, it's not doing so well. I think there's like some tears around the mouth area. Or that could have been just me. But really, the tail here is taking some really bad damage. Yeah. Also, the colors are fading on this too. And it's actually kind of sad that this is kind of breaking down now, because this is actually one of my favorite puppets. I actually like this little guy. Sad. Yeah. Put you back up here, the rest, buddy. Now, this last one doesn't really count as a official baby Einstein puppet or like a Redbox replica, but this one is one. This one is uh, something I tried to do myself, and uh, yeah. Basically, this is a Misty Mouse, or. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Honestly, it just looks like more of like an abomination than a Misty Mouse replica. Albeit, it's my it was my first time trying to make a replica of like a puppet, but ugh, jeez. I don't really like how it looks. Yeah. Anyway. That is the proper revision of the puppet collection, which some of you have been waiting for like a very, very long time now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll probably be doing some more reviews sometime soon. For now, right now, I'm just gonna kick back and relax a little bit.